Hello everyone. Okay, so I did end up buying the Super Lube O-ring silicone grease to get the upper radiator hose onto the radiator neck there. It did work. Um, I wish I would have bought that grease sooner. But anyway, I have a couple questions and if any of you all know the answer, definitely please leave it in the comment, sec comment section below um, and I'll go through and read and see if anyone knows the answer. Okay, so before I bleed the system, does anyone know how tight I have to tighten this clamp? So that nipple part comes out of the upper radiator hose and then this tube goes to the expansion tank. And this was the piece that ruptured or split. It split like somewhere around here. And I have a feeling it was when they put my car back together after doing the Vanos work. They had to replace those bolts that had broken off and ended up in my oil pan and was causing me Vanos errors. Um, thankfully it was covered under warranty, but I have a feeling Possibly it was just weak and when they put it back in because it it split right about here So it goes into those little holding clamps there Plastic clamps and that's where it split Because um, the the leak happened literally right afterwards. I, I might have only driven 50 miles something like that but anyway, so I Need to know how tight to tighten these now I mean, it's not moving, but if I get my old piece here, here's the old piece. So, sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. So that is part of the nipple piece that broke off. So when I was taking this tube off, that nipple broke off and that's why I had to replace the whole upper radiator neck. Um, but to give you an example, if you can see, you see how far down they have this clamp? Should I move that clamp down? Should I move this clamp down further than I have it right now? So that's one question. Um, also, I had to take the air filter housing out. I did put that back in and I had taken this off, so I put the screws back in, put the, the clip back in, the sensor or whatever that is, air, this airflow sensor. But anyway, this was off, so I put it back together and I need to know how tight to tighten this clamp here. It doesn't move when I push on it. I did tighten it, I just don't know how tight I should tighten it. And I did, I took it off and put it right back on because I wanted to make sure it was all the way on. It's like you're really tight on space. <laughs> so I can see that it's on on the top and I'm pretty sure I have it the whole way on there. Um, so, I mean, just looking at, like for instance, this clamp, I don't know if I should tighten that a little bit more. It kind of looks like, oh, let me see if I can find any more. I'm sure there's tons of them but anyway so yeah how tight should I tighten that clamp and also that clamp and let's see what else so once I didn't want to put this piece on so this piece goes like this sorry I just have two hands so that goes on here but I don't want to put this back on until I know if I have to tighten that a bit more. That way I don't got to take this back out. But yeah, that just pops into there and then it goes under here and then I just put some screws. I'm gonna just screw it back in here and here. My other question for anyone that knows. So once I get this all situated, and get this back on once I know how tight to tighten these clamps I'm gonna bleed the system my question is 
I have watched so many YouTube videos and some people loosen this screw and some people take the cap off and then they bleed it. But I've watched videos where they don't, they don't even mess with this clip or that, that screw. They leave it as it is. And also some people will take the cap off when they bleed it and some people will leave the cap on tight. Now I did add some coolant. Um, I did, I did a, I have the BMW coolant and it's a 50-50 mix. I got the distilled water. I did end up dumping half out. I, I bought a whole bunch of these. So I emptied half of it and then filled the rest with the BMW coolant. Um, so now I just need to know, do I definitely, I mean, I did not totally drain all of the fluid out. Now, a lot did leak out when, when, this, when that piece burst or split. Um, so to give you an example, I dumped half of this, had half water, filled the other half with the coolant, and that's how much I put in. What is that, one gallon? So this is how much fluid or the mixture that I ended up putting into my expansion tank. Now, I know when I bleed it, I will probably have to add more, but I need to know, do I, because I didn't totally drain all the fluid, do I unscrew this and then bleed it? Do I leave this alone and open the cap and then bleed it? Do I open the screw, open the cap and then bleed it? Like I said, I've seen so many videos and everybody does it different and I just wanna make sure I'm doing it the correct way. Another question is, okay, so this happened in 2021, May of 2021. So this car has been sitting here in my garage since and it has not been started. Um, I just really didn't need it. I worked from home and had my groceries, have my groceries delivered and all that. So. You know, if I need to go somewhere like a pet sitting job, I'll just borrow my daughter's car. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I know, I don't think I had much gas when this happened. Might've had like 60 miles left. Um, so since it's been a little over two years, once I bleed the system, should I still just have it towed to the dealership, have them totally drain um, the coolant, add new coolant, um, I had an oil change right before this happened, so I might have might have had like 50, 50 miles on my new um, oil change. So should I also get a new oil change? And also, should I have them do something about the gas if there's even any left? I, I'm pretty sure gas evaporates some, doesn't it? So what should I do about my, my fluid since the car has not been driven in, in a little over two years? Should I just have them drain all the fluids, re-add re new fluid? Um, are my brakes going to work? <laughs> I mean, the, the fluid's been sitting, you know, well, I'm scared to like, once I bleed it, I'm scared to start it because I'm like, are my brakes going to work with the fluid that's been sitting? Or should I, once I bleed it, should I just turn the car totally on and let it sit in my garage, of course, with the garage door open? Should I let it sit and idle for, you know, five, 10 minutes? So let me all know what your opinions are, what you think, and then I will go from there. But yeah, I appreciate it if y'all that know anything about these and what I'm doing and how to fix it and all that jazz, please leave a comment below and I will definitely keep an eye on the comment section and reply as needed. So yeah, thank you so much everyone. I hope y'all are having a good day and I'll talk to you later.